Hi friends, it's Shan here. Welcome or welcome back to Golf with Shan. Today we are back at Cardinal Golf Club. I was here a few weeks ago and I filmed the Red Crest course here and today we're going to be playing the West course. So they do actually have four golf courses on site and also a mini putt course which I've just discovered so that's pretty cool. We are here quite early, an hour before our tea time so we're going to actually hit the range for a little bit, maybe practice some chipping and then head out to the first tee. Let me show you the golf course. We are on hole number one, starting off with a beautiful dog leg left, par four. I kind of aimed just right of the fountain and tried to go across the water. I think I was successful. I didn't hear a splash. Back there is the clubhouse, and then this is where the hole takes a turn to the left. There's my ball, so just missed the fairway here. Oh, my little audience there for that shot. They're so nerve wracking. Birdie. I guess it does make a difference to hit the range before you're around. We are on hole number two. This is par three, 150 yards from the white pins. Oh, I forgot we have these fancy carts. Here's the hole. Looks like we are actually 141 yards. Yeah, just short, that makes sense. <laughs> Just got to hole number three. This one is a par four dog leg right. We do have a pond on the right side, just about halfway through the hole. So at about the 200 to 230 yard marker, there is a pond on the right side. And then the fairway continues to the green. On the left side is just some trees. Honestly, guys, this golf course has like country club vibes. The grass is just so nice. The greens are rolling really nicely, faster than I'm used to. I said this in the last video. By the way, if you haven't checked out my previous video at Cardinal, I played the Red Crest course. Go check that out. It's going to be linked in the description. There's the baby pond. It's actually smaller than I thought it was gonna be. There's a 150 yard marker and then up ahead is the green. So mine just went into this rough stuff. Um, they have these prickly things. So I would recommend not going in there. I'm gonna drop one right here though. I guess we're chipping. <laughs> Set down a little bit. Okay. Thought I had a good roll on this. We are on hole number four. This is a straight par five, 495 yards from the white tees. It's literally dead straight. The green is right in front of us. There are no hazards in front of us. So we're just gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna take driver. On the Red Crest video, I pointed out these like really cute bathrooms. They have them on this one as well.
on to hole number five. This is our second par three. This one's 150 yards from the white tees. There's nothing really to it. There's a few bunkers on the sides and then water on the right side of the hole, but shouldn't really be in play because it's right next to us instead of the green. It's getting windy outside. Excuse the audio. If it gets windy, I'll try to fix the audio. <laughs> On to hole number six. This is a par five, 528 yards. It's a slight dog leg left. We do have to go over a small creek right off the tee. And then from there, it looks like just open fairway and some bunkers on the right side. Here we are, just made it on to the fairway, and up ahead there is the green. So this is actually also where the hole takes a slight turn to the left. It's not a big dog leg left. I could have aimed more left to have a better clear shot into the green. Well, that was too much club. There's the pin. We've hit traffic a little early today. We're on hole number seven. This is a par three, 146 yards from the white tees. It looks very straightforward. There is some water on the left side. The trees are obviously out of bounds all around, but other than that, I think I'm gonna take my six iron. Nice little stroll in nature with the trees turning colors. On hole number eight, another straightforward par four. This one has a creek right in front of the tee boxes. And then after that, again, just straightforward. Basically off the tee, there's some hazards, but once you hit it straight off the tee, you're good to go for the rest of the hole. That seems to be the trend for the front nine here. Let me know in the comments if you guys would have chipped that or Texas wedged it. Personally, I'm not very good at controlling the speed when I have to putt through a lot of fairway. So let me know down below. It's insane, but it's actually more accurate for me to chip rather than putt. That's just how my golf game is these days. We're at hole number nine. We're headed back towards the clubhouse direction. This one is a par five. It takes a 90 degree left turn. I'll show you in a second. And there is a giant water pond on the left side. There's me on the cart path. So this is actually where the hole takes a 90 degree turn and there's the clubhouse and the green right next to it. Nice. 
I fall? I don't know. So my boyfriend grew up around here and he said this used to be the 18th hole, the finishing hole, which I totally believe because it's absolutely gorgeous here. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys actually know if this used to be hole number 18. We're going to head over to the back nine now. There was a tournament here, so in order to not get copyrighted music, here is hole number 10, which is a par 4, 323 yards from the white tees. There is a creek right in front of the green, but it's far enough away that I was able to hit driver off the tee. I ended up all the way left of here. The sun was in my eye, so I actually didn't see it land, but he saw it come out here. So the fairway is actually over there where you'll get a better shot into the green. Since I can't do that, I'm just gonna hit one out here and then just take an extra shot. Hole number 11 is a par 4 over some water off the tee. It's 386 yards total. I'm just going to take driver and yeah, hope for the best. Also, this whole Loki feels like where people come to take wedding photos, graduation photos. There's just a lot of things set up specifically for photos. For example, this. And then if we turn around here, we have this cute little deck. Isn't that adorable? Anyways, we're gonna tee off now. Here's my ball. So there are actually two sections of fairways and then this cart path just kind of cuts in between. There's the 150. I'm about 175 yards from the middle of the green and there's a group ahead of us. Moving along to hole number 12, this is a par 5, nearly 500 yards. If you do want to take a shortcut, it's 420 yards. Otherwise, it's a really big dogleg right. There's two sections to the fairway. So the first section is right in front of us, pretty much straight. And then the cart path cuts across and the fairway turns to the right. Good. You can actually hit up on it. Nice. There's my ball. Up ahead, this is where the fairway takes a turn to the right. It's kind of annoying that my drive is like not quite the distance where I can see where the hole takes a turn, so I kind of just have to hit another layup shot over there where I can see it. Probably to the 150. That seems like a good spot. We're at hole number 13, dogleg right, par 4, 375 yards from the white tees. The blue tees on this one is actually really interesting. It's all the way up there. You get a really nice view, but I don't like to play from the blue tees. So yeah, we're down here at the white tees, very comfortable. There is a lot of water on the right side off the tee and then on the other side of the fairway where the fairway, what is English, takes a horizontal turn to the right. All right, I'm gonna take my driver and tee off. Bit, but it's good. 
there's my ball so I pulled it a little bit left but I could have gone just around there that's where his ball is so apparently on the cart it said it was 230 yards to the willow tree I think you have a little bit more room there and then there is a pond behind and the green just to the right here Okay, well, bunker shot. What did I do there? That was better. Turned out good. Where's my lake? Hey guys, at the golf course, there's no rake for this bunker, just so you guys know. <laughs> We're on hole number 14. It's golden hour in the fall, which is probably the most beautiful time of the year, in my opinion. Today is actually quite warm. I'm wearing two layers of long sleeve here, but I didn't need like a jacket or anything, so that's perfect for me. Anyways, we're on hole number 14. This is a par 3, 135 yards from the white tees. There's a bunker in front of the green and then one behind. So hopefully the other ones are not in play. <laughs> There was a tournament here and that must have been the closest to the pin. I am back here. I honestly thought I landed closer but I must have just hit a really good shot and it just carried a little more distance than I thought. The sun is just setting right behind us. We're on hole number 15, 385 yards from the white tees. It's straight and narrow with some water on both sides. So as you can see, it's a very uh, golden hour here. The sun is setting right next to me and I don't know how many holes we can get left. It's, it's coming to that time of the day. So we'll see how many more we can get, but at least this one and hopefully the next one. here there's my ball I popped it up in the air but it's turning out pretty good we're right at the 150 sign guys look at where his ball ended up has this ever happened to you before <laughs> That's so funny. Anyways, there's a look at the green. The group ahead of us is just up there. It's so nice at sunset. Look at all these trees turning colors. best shot I've ever hit with my five iron. I'm very like not sure about my five iron because it's my longest iron but that was good. There goes the sun. Guess we'll see you tomorrow. We're on hole number 16. This is a further par 4, just over 400 yards. It's straight, but there is a giant tree in the middle of the fairway. You know, a few courses have done this, and I don't really know why. It's kind of interesting. Why put an obstruction for a perfect golf shot? Like, I want to aim for the middle of the fairway, but then I might hit the tree. Anyways. <laughs> Here we are in the middle of the fairway, the group ahead of us still there. Um, I kind of jinxed myself. I laughed at him for doing this, but now I'm here and I'm actually right-handed, so this is going to be fun. Okay, I think we have about 150 in. <laughs> Okay. 
this. That's gonna be it for today. It seems like our Twilight Golf average is about 16 holes. So number 17 is going to be a short par three with Hazard in front of the tee box. And then number 18 is going to be a straight par four. Honestly, today has probably been the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen on the golf course. So thank you Cardinal for having us out here again. Again, if you haven't seen my Red Crest video, go check it out. I have linked it in the description below and I'll probably add it at the end card. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't joined us already hit that subscribe button i make new videos every wednesday and saturday i'll see you in the next one bye